on your mark. Get set, go! Orbit, wait! The light's not green yet! And you're going the wrong way! Nuh-uh, not me! You guys need to turn your racers around! Orbit, that's dangerous! You're going to cause an... Oh, an accident. Sorry, I didn't mean to crash our toys. That's why there are rules, Orbit. They make things safe. Red means stop, yellow means caution, green means go. Just like the lights on a real street. Oh, I didn't know that. Learning a few rules about street safety might be a good idea, Orbit. And that sounds like we have a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We want to go somewhere we can learn about street safety. That sounds like a fun mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The book planet. Hmm, we want to read street signs, not books. Piggy Bank Planet. <laughs> no. We want to learn about keeping ourselves safe, not saving our pennies. Yay! That place looks sensational. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the traffic light planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the traffic light planet. symbol. It means it's safe to cross now, but you should still look both ways to make sure. Oh, there are only two pods. No problem, Orbit. There's room enough for two in each. Let's team up, and we can all take turns at driving. Yeah! Good idea, Rob. Okay. okay. I can't wait to see what the finish line looks like. Uh -huh. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> hey, wait for us. Greetings. I'm ESI, <gasps> your electronic safety instructor. Oh, hi, ESI. Before we begin, Please ensure your safety belts are securely fastened. Uh, seat belts fastened, ESI. <laughs> Excellent. Please proceed with care. <laughs> ah! Huh? We cannot continue the test huh? until the safety belts are securely fastened. Oh, Rob. Don't forget your safety belt. <laughs> Please 
please stop and look both ways to make certain it's safe to move ahead. Uh, Emma, I think we were supposed to stop and look both ways first. Huh, I didn't see anyone. Besides, we have a finish line to get to, and fast! No! Please stop and look both ways to make certain it's safe to move ahead. Ah! Woohoo! Come on, TK, we have some catching up to do. Rob, didn't you see the sign? You went the wrong way in the roundabout. I know, but I avoided all the traffic, and look, Emma and Orbit are just up ahead. This isn't a race, Rob. We're supposed to be learning about street safety. Ah! It's a red light, Emma. Mm. That means stop, right? <sighs> hmm. Come on, come on! Ha <sighs> <laughs> It's no use, Emma! You can't outrace a racer, and I'm Racer Rob, the fastest... So long, Slowpoke! turn green! That's cheating! Oh, dear. Emma sure isn't following any of the safety rules. Oh! Hang on, TK. I have an idea. <laughs> Let's take this shortcut. This race isn't over yet. Rob! The sign said do not enter. We shouldn't be going this way. TK anywhere. We're gonna win. Ah! Ah! Just a little further. Ah! Almost there. Ah! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Emma, you cheated. You didn't wait for the green light back there. You cheated, Rob. You went through a construction zone. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry to say you have failed your street safety test. Huh? Test? That's right. Huh? I was so excited about racing our pods, I forgot why we came here. To learn about street safety, not to race. Wow, guys, we're sorry. That's okay. At least nobody was hurt. Barely. The only thing we've learned about street rules is how to break them. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, guys, I have an idea. Greetings. I'm ESI, your electronic safety instructor. <laughs> Before we begin, please ensure your safety belts are securely fastened. Seat belts fastened, ESI. Excellent. Please proceed with care. completed the course. You have passed Ooh. the safety test. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's one mission safely accomplished. Hmm. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? all about street safety. Only Emma and I got slightly carried away trying to race each other. And we broke a lot of rules trying to get to the finish line. Thankfully,
Luckily, we had a second chance at the test, so TK and Orbit had a turn driving. And this time, we obeyed the rules and passed the test safe and sound. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Bye, Traffic Light Planet! Hi, everyone! You've got to see this! TK is showing us how to use our new color popper. It's really easy, Orbit. You just pick the color you want to use. And then... Wow! Let me try, please. Let's see. My favorite color is orange. Wow! It really works. What else can I pick? painting with a color popper. Yeah, I look silly. We need to find a place where we can put things back to normal. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. I love playing soccer. It looks like fun, but I don't think it will help us fix our colors. Mmm, yeah. tasty in salads, but we'll go to the onion planet when we've got our colors sorted. like a place where we can fix our colors. <laughs> yes, the paint planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Let's see if we can get some paint, too. I see how it works. We just need to put the color popper in here. And... Choices left are black, white, red, blue, and yellow. I'm none of those colors. We just need to find that painter robot again. Maybe he can help us find some orange paint. Let's go. What do you think? if you like. Um, I think your goggles are dirty. They are. Uh. <laughs> no wonder you've been painting everything the wrong color. I have. Don't worry. We've been fixing things for you. And we'll fix your goggles up too. Right, TK? I'm sure I've got just the thing to clean them up. Let's see. A toothbrush? No. That's too small for this job. Blue? Hmm. No, too scratchy. Aha! A sponge! This is perfect for cleaning goggles. <laughs> Just let me do a little wiping and... Ta-da! Voila! A masterpiece! Wow! Everything looks so different. The sky and the ground and the paintings and the sculptures and... Wow! <laughs> you really are mixed up, aren't you? Can you help him? He needs orange paint. Hmm. How about more pink? You look fabulous in pink. I just need to mix red and yellow. Red and yellow make orange. That's it. I haven't mixed the right colors yet. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission control.
Troll? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Orbit TK and I got all mixed up by the color popper. So we went to the paint planet. There was a silly painter robot who was turning everything different colors. We discovered the painter's goggles were dirty, and that's why he was painting everything strange colors. You have to keep your goggles clean to see well. By helping the painter, Orbit finally remembered the secret to making orange. You have to mix red and yellow. We finally had our pal back to normal again. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Five, four, three, two, one! Goodbye, Paint Planet! looking after her cousin Mia's space cat, Violet. Violet needs something, but we don't know what it is. Hmm. Check the list Mia gave you, Emma. Everything a pet needs. Number one, a pet needs food. Food, check. Number two, a pet needs water. Water, check again. Three. A pet needs a place to go to the bathroom. Ew. Litter box, check. That's everything on the list. Violet obviously needs something. Oh, I'm a terrible pet sitter. <sighs> hmm, maybe Mia forgot to put something on the list. But what? What does Violet need? Sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We're taking care of Emma's cousin, Space Cat Violet. She needs something, but we don't know what it is. Oh, I love pets. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, the water planet. But I don't think Violet wants to go swimming. Oh, what about the stinky foot planet? Yeah. No, I don't think anyone wants to go there. Now that looks like a place that we might find what Violet needs. Yay! The pet shop planet. Good choice. Get ready for a countdown. Dog section. 
there's stuff for all kinds of dogs. Small, big, and really, really big. <laughs> These bones are all made of rubber. These must be toys. Rob, wait! Ooh. Ooh, oops! <laughs> oh, hey! are for dogs, not space cats or robots. Don't worry, Violet. We'll find whatever it is you need. Right, Rob? Right, Emma. This place is huge. So we can split up and search for the space cat department. Violet, you be a good cat and stay here. Doesn't look like the space cat department. This must be for the POUSs. Huh? The pets of unusual size. Yes, Orbit. It must be for some really huge alien hamster. But that still doesn't help Violet. I don't know, Emma. This is pretty fun. Maybe Violet would like it. Woohoo! Funny, but I don't think Violet wants a fishbowl or fish food. Closer to finding out what Violet wants. Look out! Whoa! Whoa! Get out of the way! Ah! Whoa! Yikes! Whoa! We've got to stop this thing. Yes, please. Wanted a toy. 
We really should fix that hamster wheel. A little higher. And there! TK, find something to get the wheel fastened in place. Tape can fix a lot of things, but it's not going to work for this. TK, hurry! Uh, Ooh, my favorite wrench! Uh, I'm getting closer! TK, hurry! Please! Aha! This bolt is perfect! That's mission accomplished. Yeah! Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? what Mia's pet space cat needed. So we traveled to the pet shop planet. There was everything for every kind of space pet there. We learned that there are things every pet needs. Food and water and a place to go to the bathroom. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> we also learned that a pet needs a toy to play with to give it exercise. It was also a good way for us to play with her. All pets need lots of love, too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, Pet Shop Planet. Start a club. Oh, I always wanted to be in a club. What sort of things will we do? <clears throat> we can make up a great club song to sing. And make a special club handshake. And make a really cool club sign. And find the best club name ever. If we're gonna have a club, don't we need a clubhouse? A clubhouse! Well, that sounds like we have a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We want to know where in the whole robot galaxy we can find a clubhouse. A clubhouse? That sounds like fun. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Huh? The cheese planet? I like cheese, but I don't want to start a cheese club. Ew! A clubhouse on the stinky food planet would be do. Look, a tree house. A tree house would make a great clubhouse. Yay! <laughs> the tree house planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Let's get this club started. Now, the first thing we need is the club song. How about, um, welcome to our cool club. It's tons of fun and really, uh, hmm. We need a word that rhymes with club. How about hub? Tub rhymes with club? I got it! Grub! It's tons of fun and really grub? Well, it rhymes with club. <sighs> Maybe we should forget the song for now and make up our cool club handshake. I've got some fun ideas. We have to make up the song first. After all, the club was my idea. But we already tried, Emma. Sorry, but anyone who wants to be in my club has to help with the song. <laughs> then I guess I'll just start my own club with no club song. Well, who's in? <laughs> a club without a song doesn't sound like much fun to me. I'm staying here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> -ha! oh! This is so cool! Okay, so how about we get started on making a cool club sign? Or thinking up a great club name! Sure! Later. Huh? Huh? First, we have to work on the special club handshake. Oh, how about this? First, clamp onto my hand. Okay. Then we spin around. Oh. Then down. Oh, or maybe we do, no, once around. Or, or how about this? I'm getting confused. Can't we make this sign now? I think it should be less. A sign is easy, Orbit. First, we have to work on the handshake. Well, I think a club sign is more important than a handshake. So I'm starting my own club. Anyone care to join me? Thanks, but no thanks. I've got a handshake to work out. Hmm. Stuff that's not here, like songs and special handshakes. Okay, so what will we put on our club sign? A rocket or a meteor? Hmm, that depends on our club name. How about the Cosmic Chum Club or the Robot Galaxy Fun Club? First things first, the sign will help us find the name. The name will help us with the sign. Mm-mm. Sign first. Name first. Sign first. <sighs> Aha! So you give up. Nope. I'm starting my own club. Maybe I'll call it the No Song, No Handshake, No Sign Club. Call it Club Awesome. All in favor? Okay, 
so here it is. I figured out how we can finish my club song. We just pick another word to rhyme instead of club. Okay, how about friend? Our special club word is friend. And we'll stay pals through every twist and bend. Because the message we want to send is that true friendship will never end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Now next, let's get to work on that special club handshake. All in favor? Yeah! yeah. This is a big mission accomplished. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? for our new club. But we had different ideas about what to do. So everyone made their own club. But then we had no one to help us do our stuff. So we learned that it's always best to work together. You get more things done and have a lot more fun. Done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Treehouse Planet. You're just in time. We're testing Squeak Sniffer. Oh, we had a piece of yummy cheesecake to see if he could sniff it out. His nose just knows. Sounds like he found it. <laughs> he did. Good work, Squeak. Whoa! Uh -oh. What's that noise mean? It means our ship's getting low on fuel. Fuel is what gives our rocket the power to go. Like food gives us the power to run and jump and do everything. Right? Right, Emma. I'd say cheesecake is what powers Squeak. Look at him go! What powers the rocket? We need to find geyser gas, rocket rocks, and solar seeds. Mixed together, they make rocket power. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We need a place where we can find fuel for the rocket. That's a very important mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The planet! You know, my greasy gears could use a good scrubbing. That might be true. But first, we need to find fuel for the rocket. Hello, planet! Yay! Sorry, but nap time will have to wait till after our mission. Power Planet! I'm sure we can find rocket fuel there. Yes, Power Planet! Perfect choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
stop our planet. Don't worry, Rocket. We'll get you more fuel just as soon as we can. Okay, we need two solar seeds from a solar flower, one rocket rock with rocket power, geyser gas from the ground below, put them together and the rocket will go, go, go. Right, we'll find them faster if we split up and if we use our senses. You mean like seeing, smelling, touching, hearing, and tasting? Yes. Pop's right. For example, a solar flower smells sweet. Ooh, I'll find one. Huh? Want to help me sniff out a sweet-smelling solar flower squeak? <laughs> then let's go. <laughs> I think you should get the rocket rock, Rob. Sure. Uh, but why me? <gasps> now I know why. One rocket rock coming up. We'll get the geyser gas orbit. Uh, gas is usually stinky, so we can use our sense of smell to find it, right? Nope. Mm. Geyser gas has no smell. <gasps> Did you hear that? Come on. Uh. Whoa! Is that what I think it is? Yep, it's geyser gas, all right. We can't smell it, but we can hear and see it. <laughs> this is going to be easy. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Too late again. So easy. Don't worry, we'll put plan B into operation. As soon as we can think of a plan B, that is. Hmm. Do you smell a solar flower? Oh, where did those rascally rocks go? I can't see them anywhere but I sure can hear them. Gotcha! Hey! <laughs> Whoa! Rocket rocks are rocket fast. They must be full of energy. So, you wanna play, huh? I mean, your nose did it. Hmm, I can see the solar seeds, but how will we get them from way up there? Good idea! Okay, hop up. Got them! Two solar seeds from a solar flower. Whoa! <laughs> I can feel the energy inside them. Whoops! <laughs> Sorry, Squeak. I was so excited, I almost forgot you. Oh, I wish those geysers weren't so noisy. I can't think. Noisy? That's it. The geysers make a noise before the gas gushes out. So we just have to listen for the pop, pop, popping. <laughs> that one! <laughs> you were right! <laughs> Over there! That one!
we put the fuel in there? Because the gas, the seeds, and the rock all have to go in at the same time. Then I sure hope Rob and Emma get here soon. Is this soon enough for you? Rob, you got a rocket rock. Yeah, or maybe it's got me! Whoa! Oh, but where are Emma and Squeak? Here we are! With two solar seeds full of solar energy, just like you asked. All thanks to Squeak and his super duper smell sniffer. Ooh. Quick, put the rock and the seeds in this tank. <laughs> now wait here while I fill her up. It's okay, Rocket. Tiki will have you all powered up in no time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did it work? Did it work? <laughs> Rocket's back to full power. And that means mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the power planet to get fuel to fill the rocket's tank. TK and Orbit had to get gas from a geyser, so they used their sense of hearing to guess which one would erupt next. Squeak used his sense of smell to help Emma find some solar seeds. So we learned that our senses can help in lots of different ways. And we all got the power our rocket needed. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Now buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Power Planet! You're just in time. Wow, Emma, what's in the bowl? That's my pet fish, Stripey. Ooh, hoo, hoo, it looks so cool. TK, you gotta see this. Ooh. It's Emma's fish, Stripey. Fish? He's so cute. I get it. You named him Stripey? Because he's got three stripes. One, two, three vertical stripes. Vertical? Vertical means the stripes go up and down. I'd love to float the way he does in the water. I like him. Uh, uh, uh. Stripey's sad. He does look sad. What's wrong, little guy? Uh, he's normally more playful. Well, let's take him out to play with us. No, he can't come out of the bowl. Fish need to stay in water. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find a way to cheer him up. Mm -hmm. Aw, thanks, everyone. You really are my best friends. Yeah, that's it. Stripey needs a friend. <gasps> Did you hear that, Stripey? Would you like someone to play with? That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We have to find a fishy friend for Stripey. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, yummy! The veggie planet. Would we find Stripey a friend on the veggie planet? No. Would we find fish on the bouncy ball planet? Nope. Not the bouncy ball planet. 
Would we find fish on the ocean planet? Yes, the ocean planet. Excellent choice for finding a fishy friend for Stripey. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. for Stripey. I think a whale is a bit too big to fit in Stripey's bowl. We need to find someone more his size. Come on, everyone. Let's go find a fishy friend for Stripey. Whoa! She fish at all. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Orbit! <laughs> you found friends for Stripey! <laughs> yeah! Look! These fish all have one, two, three stripes! Just like Stripey! Hmm, it looks like Emma has an idea. Let's find out what she's doing with Stripey. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma's fish Stripey wasn't happy, so our mission was to find him some fishy friends. We needed to find a place where fish live. And the ocean planet was the right place. It had a lot of different strange creatures living there. Some were huge. Others were very strange and a little scary. We learned that a telescope can make it easier to see things that are far away. We also learned how much fun it is to make new friends, even if they look a little bit different. Our crabby friends sure were helpful. Then we found a plant that had a pattern just like stripies. And in that plant, there were a lot of other fish and they looked exactly like stripey. And Emma decided stripey would be happiest if he stayed with all his new fishy friends. Well done, Rob. Mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! <laughs> Goodbye, Ocean Planet! You're just in time. Emma's gonna read us a story from her favorite storybook. <laughs> Someone's been nibbling on my favorite storybook. <laughs> I think I know who did it. He's blue and has a wind-up key in his back. Squeak! Oops, he must be hungry. I forgot to feed him. is almost empty. There's not enough mouse food in here, even for you. That's why Squeak nibbled on your book, Emma. He was hungry. Well, he can't keep eating my book. Certainly not. Books aren't very good for him to eat anyway. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? Squeak is out of food, and he started eating Emma's books. We need to find something for him to eat. 
round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, the bowling ball planet. Bowling is fun, but maybe later. No, we won't find anything to eat on the playground planet. Now that looks like a place where we can find something for Squeak to eat. Even robot mice love cheese. Yes, the cheese planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt.
should have done that. But there's lots of cheese here. I just wanted one little piece. But that was holding the bridge together. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Squeak, wait! Good thing the ground is made of cheese. It's soft to land on. But how will we get out of this hole? I might have something to help. Oh, dear. I only have a short ladder. <sighs> Aha! A rope would be great. But we have nothing to tie it to. Hmm. Well, this is all I have. And a plank of wood won't get us out either. Maybe it will. You stand there. Chasing, it was other mice too. But which one is our squeak? TK, did you bring Squeak's food box? I did, but it's almost empty. Because I think I know how we can tell which one is Squeak. Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn in your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the cheese planet to find food for Squeak. But when we got there, he was so excited, he ran away. We had to search through a lot of cheese and a lot of Squeaks in order to find him. When we did, he was with a whole lot of other mice who looked exactly like him. I knew there was really only one Squeak, so I decided to shake his box of food, and Squeak was the only one who came to us. Even though the mice all looked the same, we learned that they were each different in their own way. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, just in time. Long before there were people on Earth, there lived giant reptiles called dinosaurs. Ooh. And the most terrible-tempered dinosaur of all was the Tyrannosaurus Rex. He was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived. <gasps> Tyrannosaurus Rex stood about 20 feet tall. That's almost as tall as the rocket. And he could eat up to 500 pounds of meat in one bite. <laughs> oh, sorry, Squeak. Wow, dinosaurs sound scary. I think they sound cool. Where do they live? Dinosaurs no longer exist. They've been extinct for 65 million years. Extinct? <laughs> 
Extinct, Orvid. Extinct means they're no longer alive. Mm. The only thing left of the dinosaurs are old fossils and bones. Ah. Mm. Hey, maybe we could find a place that collects fossils and dinosaur bones. How cool would that be? <gasps> yes, a dinosaur exhibit. And that sounds like we have ourselves a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? We want to find a dinosaur exhibit, but we're not certain where to look. Oh, that's a tricky one. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, race planet. <laughs> I love racing. Racing is a lot of fun, TK. But I don't think we'd find dinosaurs on that planet. Oh, I love the theater. We could put on a play. That would be a great place if we wanted to dress up like a dinosaur. But I don't think we'll find any bones there, Emma. Oh, what about this planet? It looks like it might be a good place. You chose the museum planet. Museums carry all sorts of ancient bones and marvelous wonders. Excellent choice. OK, then. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. fun putting it back together. Just think, a life-size dinosaur puzzle. Well, 
and parchment. That's what people used to write with before pens were invented. They dip the quill in that bottle of ink and write on the parchment. Parchment is like paper we use today, but really, really rough. Cool! There's more drooly slime over here. Hmm. And a helmet is missing. Huh? What could make such a mess? We're the only ones here. <laughs> Where'd my toy go? <laughs> oh, catapults! Knights used them in ancient times to throw things at castles, like spears and rock. I like to rock. you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we learned that dinosaurs lived long before they were people, but have been extinct now for over 65 million years. But you can still see exhibits of dinosaur bones and fossils in museums, so that's where we went. We found an awesome display of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but there was a problem. He was missing the bone that formed his arm. We discovered a robot dog had taken the dinosaur bone and a bunch of other stuff, including my toy. Poor little guy, he just needed his own toy to play with. We finally put the missing bone back in its place and made a fun new friend. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Doggy! Goodbye, Museum Planet! Hi, everyone. Wait till you see what I've got. 
magic kit. I can use it to do all kinds of magic. Wow, really? Let me show you. Rob, you forgot the book. Oh, don't worry, it's the hat that we need. For my first performance, I'll make something disappear. Uh, who wants to disappear? Orbit, how about your camera? Uh, maybe some other time. <laughs> oh, thanks, Squeak. Uh, Squeak? Squeak? Uh, Squeak? Squeak! What happened, Rob? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't learned the trick yet. I don't know how to find Squeak. Then what can we do? Maybe we just need a different kind of magic to get Squeak back. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. And that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Sounds like an important mission. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, theater planet. <laughs> Sounds like a fun place to dress up. But I don't think that will help us. The Halloween planet might have magic. <laughs> Squeak won't be on Halloween planet. We'll go there later. Magic planet, perfect. Yes, the magic planet. Excellent choice. <laughs> Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Kit didn't come with any wands. Don't worry, I think I can help with that. Hmm, no, a feather duster? <laughs> That's not right. Hmm, aha, spoon. Hmm, that's not a wand. Let's see if it works. not Squeak. Rob, you turned Squeak into a rabbit. At least he reappeared. How do we fix him? Oh, I don't know. You mean Squeak is gonna be a bunny forever? Maybe the book. Wait, Squeak. He was just here. We lost him again? Mm -hmm. uh, Emma, wait! Emma! Emma. <gasps> huh? Huh? Here I am. How did you 
But, but you were... It's a trap door. Why? Ah! Huh? Cool. But where Squeak? Wow! It's all in the book, Rob. You can learn how to do these tricks if you... But tricks won't fix Squeak. We need to learn real magic. Oh! Hey! Huh? Look at this! What's this? It's magic cards! Here, look! Ooh. I love cards! They have pictures and numbers on them. Pick a card, any card. Now, I will guess what card you have. <laughs> really? Ooh. You can do that? You have a five of hearts. <gasps> oh, that was amazing, Orbit. Here, let me try. Pick a card, any card. Oh, a seven of diamonds. Uh-uh. Uh, a ten of spades. No, sir. Hmm. A two of clubs. Uh, wrong. Huh? I don't get it. How did you do it, Orbit? <laughs> it doesn't take magical powers. I just looked in the mirror behind you. <laughs> it's another trick. Oh, we don't need tricks to fix Squeak, Orbit. We need magic. Hey, Rob, look! all about making things disappear. Uh -huh. Keep your eye on the ball. Which shell is the ball under? Hmm. Oh, I know. This one. Let me try. How about this one? Then it's this one. Whoa! <gasps> made it disappear. <laughs> it's not that hard, Rob. The book explains how to do all these things. Oh, another trick. It's not real magic. <laughs> Just because a trick can be learned, it doesn't mean it's not magic. Yeah. Try reading the book, Rob. Here's the magic hat trick. See? It doesn't say how to fix things again. The last thing it shows is... Hold on. That's it. <gasps> hey, come back. I need that. knowing how. That's the trick. Yay! I think this is a big mission accomplished. Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Reappear, but instead she got turned into a bunny. There was a special closet, but it turned out that there was a secret door in the bottom. It was just a simple trick. Anyone can learn a simple trick, but real magic? That's very complicated. Then Orbit showed us a card trick. He could guess what card I picked. He did it by checking in the mirror behind me. I found out how to get Sweet back to normal. 
just needed to be a little more patient and read the instructions in the magic book. I learned the trick. Nobody else knows how he did it. And that's what makes it magic. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Magic Planet! Sounds like a difficult mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Playground planet. <laughs> I don't think a playground will help us with our mission. <gasps> the music planet? I don't think we'll find any puzzle pieces there. Now that looks like the perfect place to find a puzzle piece. Yes, the puzzle planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. The clock 
is ticking. You have to put the piece in before time runs out. It's an octagon. An octagon has eight sides. Ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Octagon, octagon, <gasps> octagon.
Rob, you're back. What did you learn in your life? Well, we had to do three puzzles. The first one was a puzzle we had to sort by shapes, and we all worked together to solve it in time. For the second puzzle, we learned how to play tic-tac-toe. Orbit didn't like the game at first, but he kept at it and helped solve the puzzle. The third puzzle was remembering a pattern. It was tricky, but Orbit learned how to remember things by watching and listening carefully. He solved it and won the puzzle piece prize. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Puzzle Planet! Hi, everyone! Come on in. We're going to have a party to celebrate the anniversary of our first mission. I've got the cake. Yay! Check. <laughs> Emma has the milk. Yay! Check. <laughs> and Rob and Orbit have the balloons. Huh? Uh, what balloons? Uh, didn't I ask you to get balloons for the party? No, you didn't, TK. Sorry. Oh, no. I must have forgotten. We can't have a party without balloons. Maybe there's still time for us to get some. Somewhere. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find balloons for our party. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. What about the art planet? That's a good place to decorate balloons, but I don't think we'll find any there. The onion planet? Hmm. I think that choice is a bit of a stinker. P.U. Now that looks like a planet where we can get some party balloons. Yes, that's the party planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Little green balloon. Hey, 
this isn't a balloon, it's an egg. What's an egg doing just lying on the ground? Shouldn't it be up in a nest somewhere? Maybe it's afraid of heights. Birds' nests are usually up high. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I see the answer. A nest way up there. How did an egg from way up there get way down here? Beats me, Emma. But I think we have a new mission to get this egg back way up there. We should get something to carry it in. Like a basket. Come on, everyone, help me look. <laughs> get you back up to your nest. Whoa! Whoa. I sure hope I don't run out of balloons before we get to the top. trunk that can help? Huh? No thanks, TK. We're not hot. I know, Orbit. But we can use the fan like an airplane propeller. Now that's what I call a fantastic idea. <laughs> We're stuck. I can't use my hands and my feet. That's it, my rocket boots. They won't fly us to the top, but they'll get us unstuck. Hang on, little birdie. <laughs> I just hope you're not scrambled when we get you back to your nest. We're almost there. Just a bit. Huh? Uh-oh, sounds like we sprung a leak. The only way to make us go up is to lighten our load. We have to throw everything overboard. Why everything? We're the only things in here. Not quite. Hold this, Emma. Actually, I've been thinking about losing a little weight. but it was a rough ride. Tell me about it. Now you're back home, little birdie. Safe and... Huh? Hey, what are those little red eggs doing in the nest? I think maybe they belong here. And the green one doesn't. Mm-hmm. You mean it's some other kind of bird? <gasps> um, 
It's not a bird egg. It looks like we have a new mission. To get this baby lizard back down where we found him. You can ride down in our balloon. No thanks, I'm walking down. I've had enough balloon rides for one day. Us too. Okay, don't forget. We have to collect all the balloons and bits, so no animals try to eat them by accident. Good thinking, TK. <laughs> Okay, TK, we picked up all the balloons. And all the stuff we dropped out of our basket on our way. Great job, everyone. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the party planet so we could get balloons for our party. We found an egg, so it was our job to return it to a nest we saw way up on a tower of presents. But when we got it to the nest, it turned out we were wrong. It didn't belong there. We learned that not all eggs are bird eggs. Other animals like lizards are born from eggs too. And TK helped us learn that it's important to make sure broken balloons go in the trash so that birds and animals don't try to eat them and choke. Those are excellent lessons to learn. Well done, everyone. Time to go. Get ready for countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Japanese art of paper folding. 
You can make all kinds of wonderful things out of paper. Like a paper airplane. Let's go to the origami planet. <laughs> <laughs> origami planet. The perfect place. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. For airplane. First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. A rectangle has two sides longer than the other sides. Hmm, mine is square. All the sides are the same length. Uh, I'm sure it'll still work. Wait, Emma, I think we have to follow the steps. Orbit, what do we do first? Fold it in half like this. Then you done. <gasps> Emma, Orbit didn't finish telling us what to do. Oh, he was going too slowly, so I decided to wing it. Get it? Wing it? <laughs> oh. This origami stuff doesn't work at all. Ta-da! Cool! How come mine didn't look like that? Just give it another try. Orbit, can you show us again, please? Okay. First, fold your paper in half. Hmm. Make sure you line up the edges perfectly. Emma, you need to follow the steps and take your time. That takes too long. All done. Your plane looks different. What did you do? I just followed Orbit's instructions. Slow and steady. And added a couple of extra folds on the wings. Hmm. Slow and steady. I can do that. I think. Okay, Orbit. One more time, please. I promise I'll listen this time. First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. Rectangle, please. Thank you. Mayo, fold it in half from left to right. Hmm. Left hand is here. Right is here. So left to right. Now, fold one corner back like this. Like this? Yeah, and do the same on the other side. This isn't so hard. Oh, I want to decorate my plane. Oh, I can help you. Mm. It doesn't have teeth, does it? 
spatula? No, we're not cooking it. Markers, perfect. Thanks, TK. I'm done. I did everything exactly like Orbit said. Looks good, Emma. Does it fly? I don't know yet. Here it goes. Yet, I've got an idea. Ready for takeoff. Three, two, one, let go. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma wanted to learn how to make a paper airplane, so we went to the origami planet. We learned all about origami, or Japanese paper folding. There are lots and lots of fun things you can make with just a sheet of paper. When Emma tried to make her paper plane too quickly, it didn't turn out very well. But when she slowed down and listened carefully to the instructions, she had no trouble at all. Doing things quickly is fun, but sometimes it really pays off to slow down, listen, and do it right. <laughs> and now that I know how, I can make a paper airplane. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Oregon Planet. Verily is how knights say it's true. Oh, I have a good deed for you, Sir Rob. Huh? You can help me clean my room. Knights do way more adventurous things than that, Orbit. <laughs> you haven't seen my room. <laughs> In olden days, knights roamed the country doing brave deeds for their king and anyone else who needed it. Ooh, being a knight would be so much fun. Let's find a place where we can all be knights for a day. Yeah! Ooh, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need a place where we can be knights for a day. That sounds like fun. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Buccaneer Planet. Avast, mateys. That's a super fun place to play. 
Verily, TK, but we want to be knights, remember? Yay! Circus Planet! Ooh, I love clowns! <laughs> Me too, Emma. But clowns do silly things, not brave deeds. Oh, how about Castle Planet? Castles are where knights spend their days. Yes, the Castle Planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. <laughs> Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. This must be where brave knights practice doing battle stuff. And that throne must be where the king sits to watch them. That sounds like fun. But who's going to be the king? <gasps> to try being the boss. All hail King Orbit! Okay. I, King Orbit, command my knight to... use that catapult to hit that target. Yes, your Orbitness. Aha! Knights use catapults to throw big rocks to knock down castle walls. But we'll use those big bean bags so we don't break anything. Could you please give us uh, a hand orbit? Kings don't do stuff like that. We sit on a throne and look kingly. <laughs> Whatever you say, King Lazy Bones. Lazy Bones? Kings are not Lazy Bones. And for calling me one, I decree that Sir Rob will get last turn. Mm, rock and robots. Orbit sure is getting bossy. He's the king, Rob. And a king is the boss. Ah, I'll go first. Ready? Aim. Fire! Huh? Ah! You missed the whole tower! Verily, I am verily disappointed. We're just warming up. So Rob and I still have our turns. Oh, no, you don't. Your king will show you how it's done. Oh, but kings just sit on thrones and look kingly, remember? Huh? Uh, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> then, as king, I've decided no more catapult. Aww. No fair! Like you said, he's the boss. And as your boss, I now command you to do something more entertaining. Okay, how about a joust? Right! That's where two brave knights try to knock each other off their trusty steeds. Steeds means horses. I know that. I'm the king, and kings know everything. And this king says, let the jousting begin! <laughs> Lances look like fun. You and Emma go first, Rob. Ha, 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 ha! 
watching. <laughs> I'm the king, and the king can do whatever he wants. And I want to join the jest. Okay, here. You can go against TK. Yeah. Hmm. That's much too small. I need something king-sized. Knights, get me that lance. Uh, aren't you taking this king thing a little too far, Orbit? You could just get it yourself. Fine, I will get it myself. <clears throat> like helping you if you said please. Rob's right. You're not being very polite. And you're way too bossy. Do this, do that. Your king commands you. I have been bossy, huh? It's no fun being king. All they get to do is sit on a throne. Knights have all the fun. Being a king did look boring. I'm sorry I was bossy. Now, could someone please help me get down? You said the magic word. Forward, brave knight. A good deed awaits. Verily. Verily. Uh-oh. This gate uh, is even heavier than those uh, big bean bags. Oh. Wait, I have an idea. Orbit, the gates drop when you pull that big lance down. Maybe they'll open if you lift it up. Uh, it's stuck. I can't do it by myself. Uh. What about your jet boots, Rob? Hmm, they won't get me up that high. I know. We can use the catapult to give you a boost. That's using your noodle. Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the castle planet to be knights for a day. Orbit decided to be King Orbit, but he got too bossy and told us to do things without saying please. But when he finally said please, we were happy to help. So, we got to be brave knights and learned that you don't have to be bossy to be a good boss. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! will like it. It's kind of plain. Hey, is that for... Squeak. 
week? Huh? Yes, it's a surprise. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think? I like it, but it is a little plain, I guess. And kind of small. Yeah, huh. that's what I thought. You know, we could help you make it fancier. And taller. And more fun. Maybe together we can make a whole new mouse house. A bigger, fancier, fun mouse house. That sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Sounds like a super mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, the tree planet. That looks like fun. Hmm, yeah, but we don't want to build a tree house. Hmm. The cheese planet. That's Squeak's favorite. <laughs> True. But if we make him a house of cheese, Squeak might eat it. The craft planet. That's perfect. <laughs> yes, the craft planet. Terrific choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Squeak's an expert at finding things. Huh? This way, he won't see it and ruin the surprise. Uh. Good thinking. Okay, let's get started. Hmm. I think we should make Squeak's house long and wide, like a big block of cheese. I was thinking it could be tall and shiny, like a tower. Oh, I like that idea. A tower? I thought we'd make it more fun, with lots of colors. Yes, something fancy. Tall and shiny sound better to me. Me too. Okay then, here's what we'll do. TK and I will make a mouse house, and Orbit and Emma can make one too. And then we'll see which one Squeak likes better. You're, You're on. on. Well, at least that's one thing we can all agree on. <laughs> So how tall should we make it? Really tall. Yeah. Hmm. We can stack these boxes on top of each other. We're going to make the tallest, coolest mouse house ever. You got it. I think we could build a really fun mouse house with these craft sticks. Hmm. But why live in a house when you can live in a palace? That's it. We'll make our mouse palace even bigger and more colorful than their mouse tower. <laughs> huh? They're making a palace. A 
mouse palace? Well, we're making a mouse tower. And it's going to be the best mouse house because we'll make it even taller. Time to get rocking, TK. I didn't think to add one of those. Mm. Uh. 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 Oh. Uh. Ours is definitely taller. <laughs> but ours is much fancier. Ours has two flags. But ours has lots of colors. Well, we'll just have to let Squeak decide which mouse house is best. Although, I think I know which one he'll choose. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rob. Huh? Let's move it into the rocket. I can't wait to show him. Uh-oh. It won't fit through the doorway. It's too tall. Oh, huh? that's too bad. I guess now he'll have to pick between ours and <laughs> ours. Come on, Emma. Let's go show Squeak his new mouse house. <laughs> oh, oh no, be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't think we should move it. It's too delicate. Hmm. I can't believe we made our mouse house too tall. And I can't believe we made ours too fragile. What were we thinking? We turned it into a contest. Mm. I guess we got carried away trying to outdo each other. And we forgot all about Squeak. Mm. So now he doesn't have a mouse house at all. <gasps> Shh! Hear that? Rob's mouse house. I told you he's an expert at finding things. I think he likes the house you made for him, Rob. I guess he doesn't need a tower. Or a palace. Just a nice, cozy place to curl up in. I'd say it's mission accomplished. <laughs> or maybe just a small mission accomplished. But sometimes, small is best. <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the craft planet to make a big, fancy, fun mouse house for Squeak. But we couldn't agree on what kind of mouse house to make. So we split into teams. Only we got really carried away. One was far too delicate, and the other was far too tall. We learned that we should have worked together as a team instead of turning it into a contest and trying to beat each other. But the good thing is, Squeak really liked the small mouse house that I made for him. He sure does. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! We 
got a big problem. TK's not feeling well. I think I must have come down with Of a space virus. TK, you should sneeze into your arm. You'll make Orbit sick sneezing on him like that. <sighs> I, I, ah! <laughs> Excuse me. Yicky. Yicky is right. We need to get you some help. We sure do. And that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. It's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We think TK might have caught a space virus. We need to get her some help. Ah, oh, dear. Poor TK. We'll find you some help right away. Ooh, sports planet. Playing sports is fun, but not so much fun when you're feeling sick. Magic planet. Magic tricks may cheer TK up, but I think she needs more than that to make her feel better. <laughs> Fix it, planet! That's it! That's where robots go when they're sick. The perfect place. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Stop the fix it planet. Hmm. Come on, TK. I think the fix it clinic is this way. Nice it's here, wow. Huh? Ooh. Don't you mean, wow, it's nice here? Orbit, are you feeling okay? Ew, TK, you sneezed all over me. <sighs> Sorry, Rob. Virus has turned you blue. <laughs> Are you okay, TK? <laughs> Will you get clinic to the end? You'll soon better be. <laughs> what did you say? I know, don't. My word's coming out funnier. No, oh, no, oh. What's wrong with him? I don't understand what he's saying. He must have caught TK's huh? space virus. Eee! Uh. Orbit, now 
you need to get to the clinic, too. Huh? Ah! 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 Greasy gears! We have to get out of here! <sighs> Nothing! It won't budge! Huh? Ah! Looks like you caught the space virus, too. Hmm. Uh, ah! <sighs> Our mission is getting bigger. We need to get all three of you to the clinic and fast. Don't worry, Rob. I'll help you. All of you. Um. <sighs> Hold on, you guys. Thanks, Emma. You got us here. What? That's not. You know, maybe we should just go. I'm not sneezing all the time. Maybe being sick isn't so. Bad. So, how are they gonna fix us? I mean, are they gonna take us apart? Don't be silly. The doctor will help fix you and make you feel better. That's what doctors do. What is the problem and how can I help? Oh dear, your skin has turned green. Huh? No, I'm supposed to be green. It's my friends that are sick. They've all turned blue. Looks like Rob and TK keep sneezing, and Orbit talks really funny. There, hello. Oh my, it looks like your friends have caught the blue space virus. It affects everybody differently, but lucky for you, it only affects robots. Will, will you need to take us apart to fix us? Oh, oh dear, no! What I do need to do is have you get lots of rest and drink plenty of fluids. Phew. Oh, phew. Here, this will help speed things up. Oh, and it's fun! There, you see the blue virus you caught? A virus infects the inside of our bodies and can make you feel sick. Fortunately, a robot virus is easy to remedy. I can gobble it up using my robot antivirus program. Just remember, you still need to rest and drink plenty of liquids. We don't want you getting sick again. Phew. Thanks, Thanks Doc. Doc. I feel much better. And you sound better too, Orbit. Thanks, Dr. Bot. Looks like that. Mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, TK was sick. She had caught a nasty space virus. Uh, 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 choo! Uh, choo! So, we went to the Fix-It Planet to help TK feel better. TK forgot to sneeze into her sleeve and sneezed all over poor Orbit. Soon, he caught the virus too. We were finally about to head to the clinic 
when I caught the virus, too. We were nervous to see the doctor, but she turned out to be really nice. We learned that doctors only want to make you feel better. And after our visit and a bit of rest, all of us feel great. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Fix It Planet. cleaning up the rocket, but we're almost done. <laughs> Ooh. Huh? Huh? Hmm. Ah! Heads up! Fine. Actually, I like this. This is the first break I've had all day. You know what, guys? We've been working really hard. And now look, the rocket's squeaky clean. We're done. Good. Yay! And I have a great idea. We're gonna go on a mission. Wait a minute. Does it involve more cleaning? <laughs> nope. Today our mission is to have fun. And you know what that means. It's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We've been working hard all day, and we want to have some fun. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Should we go to the bedtime planet to have fun? <sighs> no, that's a better place for a nap, not to have fun. Is the vacuum planet a good place to have fun? I think we've had enough vacuum cleaners for today. Do you think we can have fun on the playground planet? You've got it. The playground planet is the perfect place to have fun. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Wait, 
until you get to the bottom so you can see how good I am at... have a turn being the leader. Okay, I was thinking we could try... A merry-go-round! Hop on, everyone! Quick, follow me! I'm the leader! Uh, guys, I thought... Hurry up, Orbit. You don't want to miss the fun. Just don't go too fast, because I get sick when I get too dizzy, and... Oh! <laughs> Bit. You don't have fingers, remember? Oh, right. Okay, so Rob, I was thinking that. Great idea, Orbit! It's Rob's turn! Rob's the leader! Let's go! Follow me! to me, I might as well be floating alone in outer space. Uh-oh, I didn't mean it. One, two, one, one, two. Uh, guys. Wait your turn, Orbit. Okay, then. Huh? Do you have anything that can help us get Orbit down? Um... My trampoline! That should do it! Yeah! Uh... Uh... Okay! Jump, Orbit! But what if I miss? I've already hurt my head, my bum, and my tummy today! It's easy! Just land on the trampoline! Give you a turn? Oh, we're so sorry, Orbit. It's okay. Come and bounce with me. I'm the leader. Follow me.
Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, our mission was to have fun. So we went to the playground planet. We slid down the big slide, and then we played follow the leader. But we were having so much fun, we got carried away and stopped listening to our friend. We forgot to give Orbit his turn. That wasn't nice of us. And because we weren't paying attention to Orbit, he almost floated off into outer space. Until TK found a trampoline. And then everyone bounced with me on the trampoline. It was the best. Well, that sounds like it ended on a high note. You should always be considerate of your friends. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Playground Planet! <laughs> to the space fair. Kiki's got the tickets. I sure do, Rob. Four tickets. One, two, three, four. Whee! I can't wait. All those space games and rides. Rock and robots. Me too, Emma. Wait, where are Orbit and Squeak? Right here. <gasps> what happened to Squeak? <laughs> I guess Squeak got a little dirty cleaning the rocket's landing gear. Oh, hmm. A little dirty? I'd say he got a lot dirty. We can't take Squeak to the space barrel like this, can we? Mm-mm. 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 <sighs> we'll need to get him cleaned up, and then we'll go to the fair. Hey, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to get Squeak clean so we can all go to the space fair. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Book Planet! Oh, I love reading. Me too. But reading isn't going to get Squeak clean. Circus Planet! <laughs> Think of all the clowns! Fun! But they'll be too busy clowning around to help Squeak. The scrub dub planet. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, the scrub dub planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Super Sun 
Master Robot Scrubber. It gets robots super clean. <laughs> now I'm dirty too. You're as dirty as Squeak. Looks like you're joining Squeak in the Super Sudzer. Huh? <laughs> huh? It's got super soap squirters. Big scrubbers and dryers. Super-sized robo-buffers. Robo-buffers? Are you sure about this? It'll be fine, Orbit. Besides, as soon as Squeak is clean, we can all go to the fair. Okay, I guess I'll do it. This looks like the thing that makes it work. Hmm, it looks simple enough. Ready, Orbit? Ready, Squeak. First, it's the soap squirters. Parts back. But now we all need a bath. And I'm still stuck. I'll fix that. I'll have that super sensor robot scrubber fixed 
in a jiffy. Missing out because of me. Don't be sorry, Emma. Getting clean was even more fun than going to the fair. This thing is awesome. Now it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the Scrubadil planet so Orbit could get clean. We learned it's best not to rush things because we broke the Super Sensor machine trying to make it go faster. But Emma and I had fun finding the missing parts. And TK had fun fixing the machine. And we all had fun getting clean again. We learned that just doing the things we like to do can be just as much fun as going to a fair. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, our very best. Now, where do I put the camera? Everyone, 
How can I help you today? We want to dress Emma up like a robot, so we need to find a place with robot parts. Oh, dress-up time is always fun. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, Jigsaw Planet! Solving Jigsaw puzzles is a lot of fun, but it's not the right place for finding robot parts, Orbit. Oh, I love playing sports. Sports Planet sounds awesome, but I don't think we'll have much luck with our mission there, TK. Ooh, what about this planet? It looks like it has a ton of spare robot parts. You chose Spare Part Planet, the perfect place to create a robot costume. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! For Emma. Exactly. But if she can't talk, and if she can't walk, Emma might realize she's awesome just the way she is. That's our real mission. Isn't being a robot great, Emma? Oh, uh, it sure is. Oh. Okay, what's next? We need to find some more parts, bulky parts. Oh, wait, being a robot sure is uh, fun. I found the perfect middle piece. I found robot hands. Great job, guys. Let's suit her up. Ta -da! So, Emma, what do you think of being a robot now? It's. Okay, uh, you wait here. We'll, um, we'll, we'll see if we can get you a nice pair of shoes or something. Oh. Boy, I thought for sure she would have given up by now. Hey, what's that? Machinery orbit. It can be very dangerous. Oh no! My nose is itchy. We need 
something to help us get Emma's attention. Nope, not loud enough. Nuh-uh, still not loud enough. What about this? A megaphone. Perfect. On the count of four, everyone. One, two, three. Emma! Help! Oh, no. <laughs> That's it. I've had enough of this. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> Emma was unhappy that she didn't look like the rest of us, so we traveled to Spare Part Planet to make her a robot costume. But our real mission was to show Emma she's perfect, just the way she is. She wanted to fit in so badly, she didn't realize how clumsy all that heavy stuff was making her. We looked around for other ideas and ended up getting stuck on a giant magnet. Magnets attract certain types of metal, like iron, and we're loaded with iron. We needed our non robot friend to help us. Emma saved us by just being herself. She was able to do some amazing things that we could never do. We're all a bit different, and that's what makes each one of us special. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, 